For years, we've heard that one in four or one in five college women are victims of rape or sexual assault. But the studies behind the statistics tended to be agenda-driven, unscientific. But now, according to hundreds of news stories, there's a new, more comprehensive survey that confirms epidemic levels of sexual predation on campus. Now, could these researchers be right? That's coming up next on The Factual Feminist. Last month, the Association of American Universities released the findings of its massive new report on campus sexual assault. The authors surveyed students at 27 colleges across the U.S. and found that 23% of college, female college seniors, nearly one in four, reported that they had experienced unwanted sexual contact since entering college. Well, the survey was offered to 780,000 students, but only 150,000 students filled it out. Now, that sounds like a lot, but it's only 19%. The authors caution in the study that the estimates may be too high because of a non-response bias. That is, because students who have been sexually assaulted may be more likely to fill out the survey about sexual assault than those who have not. Now, the authors also warn that their findings are not representative and should not be extrapolated to anything outside their frame. Like past surveys on campus sexual assault, respondents were not asked whether or not they had been raped or sexually assaulted. Such direct questions are known to yield low numbers of, of victimization. Instead, the authors asked if students experienced a range of behaviors from forced penetration to things like unwanted touching or grabbing, kissing. If someone rubbed up against you in a sexual way at a party, that could count. Now, using such definitions, the authors calculated the rate of college females experiencing unwanted sexual contact at each of the schools surveyed. And again, they warned it's oversimplistic, misleading to conclude that 20 to 25 percent of students are victims of sexual assault based on our, our findings. But that didn't stop the media. Unwanted sexual contact became sexual assault, and the journalists were off to the races. It's very hard to study topics like rape and sexual assault. The best that we have, it's not perfect, but the best we have comes from the Justice Department. It's Bureau of Justice Statistics. And it has found that approximately one in 53 women will be victims of rape or sexual assault in college. That's still too many victims, but it's vastly different from one in four. And according to the latest FBI data, U.S. rape rates have been in sharp decline for decades. And even though politicians, journalists, celebrities are fixated on a su supposed campus rape epidemic, females who are not enrolled in college are actually more likely to be victims of sexual violence than college women. Well, the factual feminist verdict on this new study, as its authors admit, this survey is flawed. It asked vaguely worded questions to a non-representative sample of students who chose to participate. Now this is all very unfortunate because even though activists tend to use unreliable statistics, sexual assault on campus is a serious problem. There are victims on campus who need protection. We badly need better policies and practices. Misleading research undermines that effort. Well, do you think that self-selecting surveys are a reliable way to measure an issue like sexual assault on campus? Let me know in the comments. And if you found this video useful, please show your support by subscribing to the series. Likes on Facebook are much appreciated. And please follow me on Twitter. And thank you for watching The Factual Feminist.